Here we go. Great. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. This is a, this is a high energy pig. Um, all right. Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, uh, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Uh, we have a uh, healthy and happy pig, um, initially shy, but obviously high energy and, and uh, you know, kind of loving life, and uh, she's had the implant for two months. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two months old, two months old, and working well. Yeah. Um, and we've been able to show that you can actually have multiple neural links implanted, um, and again, healthy and happy and indistinguishable from a normal pig. So. Um, so it's possible to have multiple links in your, in your head and have them all be sending out signals and be working well. See, see that. Um, as I was saying, uh, each of those dots represents a neural spike, and the, um, the the blue chart at the bottom is showing an accumulation of neural spikes in that region. <laughs> this is that little device. Uh, it is that that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire wires. So in terms of getting a link, like I said, it's essentially uh, you open a piece of skull, um, you remove uh, about a coin-sized piece of skull, uh, and then the robot inserts the electrodes. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Uh, then the device replaces the portion of skull that was removed, and we, we basically close that up with actually super glue, which is how a lot of wounds are closed. And uh, and then you can just walk around right up right afterwards. It's pretty cool. Uh, what what we <laughs> I mean, it's more complicated than this, but it's in a lot of ways it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. So, uh, and it's also got all the things that you would expect to see, the sensors you'd expect to see in a smartwatch uh, or a phone, like uh, inertial measurement, temperature, pressure. Uh, so there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you do a lot. Um, it's sort of like if your phone went at your brain or something. Um, And we actually ultimately want this robot to do uh, essentially the entire surgery. Uh, so in, in everything from, from in, incision, uh, removing the, the skull, inserting the electrodes. Um, and we feel confident about getting the, uh, the link procedure, the, the installation of a link, done in under an hour. Um, so you can basically go in in the morning and leave the hospital in the afternoon.